you agree with me that the power and the authority that Daniel carried was real that lion could submit to it and function according to the order to the authority given to them by the angel of the almighty by the spirit of the almighty we as believers as we maintain our close work with God consistent relationship and fellowship with God this also power will be confirmed upon our lives. We are considering what the power does in us. When the power of the Holy Ghost comes, it releases on us a fire. It releases on us the glory of the Almighty that cannot be destroyed and that cannot come to an end. It operates in the power of his strength that every other thing submits to it. When he comes, we are on fire and he rests perpetually on us. When we remain in this strength, every other thing gives up to the power we carry. When the Holy Ghost comes, we are filled with power and authority as he comes quickens us and the power and authority we are quickened by that now becomes our life and our nature make every other power to submit to the glory and to bow to the power we carry now when the Holy Spirit comes it does this in us it releases the ability that makes every other thing to submit and that make for the word of God to be proclaimed. The Holy Spirit enables the fruit of the Spirit in us to do great and mighty things. The Holy Spirit reveals the nature of and greatness of God to us and in us. When the Holy Spirit comes, it gives the auction an anointing that makes for greater work. What does the Holy Spirit do with us when we are trapped by the tricks and schemes, enterprise of the wicked? Comforter, he releases the comforter, the revealer of God. He releases in your direction. That's the Holy Spirit our helper, the Holy Spirit, our teacher. When you're supposed to be dreadful or afraid, the Holy Spirit comes and calms down your anxiety and make you to take your place in Christ. Sit with Christ Jesus in heavenly places far above principality and power. The Holy Spirit executes the victory of the cross in our lives. At the cross, Jesus died. He said, he has taken away pain. He has taken away death. And will no more suffer it. The talents were given to them according to their ability. So the ability the Holy Spirit has released on us, we have to use it to walk. We have to make it effective. It should not be allowed to lie fallow. If Daniel had been scared not to use the grace and the ability God gave to him to carry out what God desired to do because of the fear of those that would gang up against him. I don't know. Daniel would have still ended up in their trap. If you know your assignment, be awake to it. Make use of it. Our responsibility is to carry out the work of our master and to please him not ourselves. What you have been given is your responsibility to use it to please God. Just like we pray thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, when you allow God 
to use you as his method to carry out his way here on earth as it is in heaven. It makes men of all languages, men of all class, men of all color, men of all treasure to come and submit. The gift of a man makes a room a way for him. Everywhere you go, you don't allow your giftings, your talent to lies follow. You always end up ruling men, taking positions of authority and power. You it is your gift, it's your responsibility, your, your ability that makes us to have a space in the lives of nation, in the lives of people that they will live to remember you forever. And when they remember the way God used you to help them, they won't forget, but they will play back that strength at you, at your point of need. Yes. You are bearing a gifting from God. Use it to pull nations. Use it for kingdom advancement. Is it money? Use it for kingdom advancement. Is it talent? Use it for kingdom advancement. Is it your social position? Use it for kingdom advancement. Is it whatsoever it is that you have? Use it to move the things of God. To make what God wills to become the determinant factor around where you are. And when you can do that, God can only move it forward. The Holy Spirit also When we carry out responsibility, it displays, it displays the splendor of God's presence. Yeah. So, how to receive the power? How do we connect with this power? When you receive Him and you believe in His name, the power is yours. How am I going to know? Go out and play your role. You will see it happen. Two, as you have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, seek to encounter the Holy Spirit in the upper room. There's no challenge in life. Live holy, live everything. If you don't know how to pray, you are still a beggar. Prayer is a key. Master key. It says on trust in child, some in horses. Psalm 20 verse 7. I will remember the name of the Lord my God. When you pray, when men pray, God has it. Don't be weak in your knees. Rule your war through your name. 